I think surfing is really addicting and you know the, the more you, the better you get the better waves you get the more addicting it is I'm Anthony Walsh I'm a professional surfer content creator Just Walshy? Oh, it is isn't it? Go Walshy! I went from being sponsored when I was like from 14 oh, and then I started to get paid to like mainly just the trips were paid so not actually making money I didn't really know like when I was pro. It wasn't until like, you know, I was 21, 22, when I kind of made my niche and started, my career started. I think the balance between, a, you know, my home life, family, to being a professional surfer is a bit, of, a bit of a circus sometimes. It's not like you come home from work, like a normal life, and you just switch off because I come home, be a dad, then I've got to teach my son, like, English, math, whatever it is, and I've still got to edit, and so it's like, basically just learn to live off like four hours of sleep and work around like my son's schedule because of his autism, it's like very structure. Right, from when, what time I wake him up to what do we do next, then the next step, then the next step is very regiment. And that's what works best for him. So that's really hard because when, like on a swell, I'm like, well, I'm just waiting for the swell to die down or get a little bit bigger or the tide get better or the wind to come in. Um, so it's, it's a lot of work, but it, you know, I get to bring him a lot with me and that's the only way I've made it work. You know, some of the best experiences of my life um, has been traveling with my son. Especially this year, we're in the Kimberleys in Northwestern Australia, really remote area, camping, fishing, like, basically there was no one, didn't, there was one moment where we didn't see anyone for like 10 days. When I was younger, um, I had lots of people saying you'll never get, you'll never be a professional surfer, you'll never be this. And being stubborn and how I am probably made me like want to do it more. Surfing was like my number one like love and that was the start of it all and from there I went to photography and then so I was just trying to be how can I do both of these? And then from there it's like now I'm you know a dad and how can I create this and do that. I think it's just at every crossroad you've got to make a decision. A lot of people will take the easy route and I think that a lot of the time I've taken against the grain and um, it was a lot more work but I could see like further down the track it was going to be a payoff. Probably fail like 90% of the time but that 10% payoff you know you get that for me, that cool shot or that cool wave like, is worth all that other crap that I had to go through to get to that point. So I think just hard work is what pays off.